Good evening, my esteemed watchers, and welcome to another episode of Poison Points. Also, we have some friends up in the corner. Do you see them? Say goodbye to the friends. They, uh, they don't belong here. Hello, Blaze, and Chance, and Wisp, and Buffy. Congratulations on first, by the way. Willow, uh, Nyx, and Tav lurking. Thank you all for stopping on in so early and so far in advance. I appreciate it. <laughs> I am in a very relaxed mood today. The vibes are high and my energy low, but not in a bad way. I've got a new plan moving forward and we're making great progress for the remainder of this month. I hope that the beginning of the week has treated you well while the weekend. And if this is your Friday, for real, for real, I hope that you have a, uh, a wonderful weekend coming up above, or coming up ahead, I should say. Hello, Damaris. Yes, hello, everybody, for being here on time. Uh, Buffy was worried that they would miss this, but uh, honestly, uh, the VOD still exists. It will always exist, I believe. Uh, <laughs> unless something happens to my YouTube channel. And it gets uh, absolutely struck. Which, by the way, I have a YouTube channel. It's the same as my name here. Uh, just at Irisu Bison. Totally forgot to set that up. But I promise that will change. Secondly, uh, if you would like to join the Discord, I highly re recommend that you do. We are starting to get a little bit more bustling. And, uh, yeah. Hello, Raspberry Gemstones. Welcome on in. We are uh, basically about to get underway with our interview. I'm just doing a little bit of our introductions for this evening. You know, I just realized something. Nah, it, it works out. It works out. <laughs> oh yay, what is he famous for? Well, Hikari is a smaller streamer, but I would have to say that he is uh, famous for his... Um, Honestly, ability to pick up like any fighting game and in be instantly proficient with it. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Hikari is absolutely cracked. Oh goodness, this got a lot, lot, lot louder. So trying to get my BF to watch with me, but he's a goober. Eh, that's totally fine. Listen, the sultry voice is not for everybody. <laughs> Ikari is famous for enamoring you, Chance. Well, I... <laughs> I... <laughs> That's just on you, boo. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Ikari is very sweet. Uh, very, very lovable. And, um... <laughs> it's Chance, I, I understand. Listen, it, it used to be me. You know, they, it used to be that you loved me, and look at where you've gone now. I used to be the boss. You, you all used to refer to me as boss, and that went out the window. Uh, <laughs> I was the one. I was the one at the top 
of, of the food chain. Not, not even really. This, this is all in slash J. It's all joking. You're the one of the first loves out. Thank you, Tian. <laughs> so I've been thinking of something. I am typically purple when I enter your chats, but I'm wondering if I should have a more signature color to me. I tried out green, the green that you see here, but I don't think that's a very fitting color. But I also tried out pink, which is, uh, you know, an accent of my hair. And I didn't really like that either. So is there a color that I should change to? Like, I could do the green if it was a little bit more muted, but... Yeah, we, we got a lot of herbals. I, I have a reason for doing it, and the reason will be made clear later on, but... Can you put a custom color? I believe you can. Ish. Sort of. I'm not sure entirely. Violet pink. I could definitely do like that in between. I think that would be an agreeable color for me. Punk. Hmm. Yeah, I could definitely, uh... Black maybe? You've got black spots? I don't know if that's your style, though. Black is really difficult to read. Um, at least for me personally, so I... Well, for, for people who don't do uh, dark mode, if you do light mode, I guess it's easy to read, but dark mode is extremely, extremely hard to, to see those black names. So I try to stay to teal or turquoise, maybe algae green. That's very great. <laughs> I love that. That's very cute. All right. Well, I'm going to get everything in position. My body prepared. Uh... I don't know if uh, if our friend tonight is ready, but we will find out shortly. Is everybody re ready to welcome in Hikari? It is a bit of a, you know, vibey stream, so. Yeah, we're all ready. <laughs> the instantaneous, yeah, my, my energy is back. <laughs> all right. Allow me to get set up here. Okay. Introducing our guest for this evening. It's Hikari. Hello. Hello, Hikari, and welcome on in. Thank you for joining yes. me at the table this evening. I gotta say, it's a nice place you got here. Yeah, it, very it is. Very cozy. It is uh, brimming with neon and uh, very comfortable to the touch, I would have to say. Hmm. See, only on like the tenth cycle do I wash these seats. So you've you're sitting in a position of at least a ten other people. Huh. <laughs> well, you know, I sat through worse. <laughs> I, I suppose this is fair. See, see, Grandpa was uh, a slime in that seat at one point, and I don't think I've cleaned it since then. So. Hmm. It's okay. You'll you'll get some of your some of grandpa on you. It's fine. <laughs> These are nice jeans. These are nice jeans. I, I I'm sure it comes right off. It should be fine. <laughs> the binicula scent does not watch out. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you always have a little bit of that vampire. <laughs> I've been trying. I got to a little bit this. of everyone in this seat. <laughs> Yeah, you you are like um you're like a My Hero Academia character. I don't know how All Might's power works, the all for one or one for all, whatever it is. But don't you gotta like eat his hair? <laughs> yeah, but, bit. We'll, we'll just say the DNA of whoever is in that seat is now transferring powers to you. So congratulations on the level up. I see. I'm going to, like, stand up, and these pants are going to be, like, acid-stained. <laughs> See, Buffy, I pulled you out of the box, though. I made sure to pull you out of the box. I, I, I took it away from you. I, hit it, <laughs> I I put it right in the corner so that you couldn't touch it. You may, you may have entered yeah, the room entered. without the box, but or with the box, but that's different. Thank you for the hydrates, everyone. You had to rip the box away from the clown. You become too dependent. <laughs> I'm too too dependent on the uh, the box. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is hydrate. Damn it, chance! I can't vocal stim that right now. 
fuck. Fine. The box. You opened it. And I came. Alright, you that's your one free one for the night. You get one. <laughs> <laughs> Chance I can't. gets to pop off over the one. That that is one of my worst yes, ones. Yes. Oh, Hikara, you're evading the head pets. That has to change. Aha. No, we're changing hey, that. Right da, da, da. Now. Hey. We're changing that right now before they run out. There we go. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch and the posture check. We're getting to everything today. Damn it. Okay. It's okay. real self care. Stretch and a, and a posture check at the same time? Okay. Yeah, the infinite okay. power. It's the, the, the full care package. <laughs> How am I going to maintain my bad neck posture with this? <laughs> it's, a, it's a staple to your personality, your character. This goes against my my, my pitchy look. <laughs> it, it, you know what? You can you can still have the RBF while you're standing up straight. I think. Can oh, <laughs> fix your neck posture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. I I was instantly distracted because I didn't see this person follow me. I think they followed. At a point when I was distracted. Um, Spamton with the gun. Thank you for the follow if you are here right now. Uh, great name, by the way. I love it. <laughs> You'd be a much bigger threat for that. Yeah, honestly. I've never played the game, but I would be more terrified of Spamton if, if he had a gun. Alright, Hikari. I have a question for you. And this question comes from our very own resident dragon, Nyx. Ooh. Uh, they left me with a simple and sweet question, and I think that you'll have a good time with this one. Ikari, what is your favorite cryptid? Oh, my favorite cryptid? Yes. And like I said, it's like killing babies. You know, killing children. Picking the, the perfect one. Ah, oh, man. That's hard. <laughs> There's a lot of good ones. Nyx will be judging. You're gonna judge me for this? <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> yeah, Buffy, it's like killing children. You know how it goes. When you have to pick your favorite child, you have to kill the rest. It's like, uh, man. <laughs> I. It's like, I got like two. I don't know the, this. It's either like Wendigos or like Mothman. Okay, that's fair. Mothman is a classic, but what about Wendigos? Do you enjoy? I. It's hard to say. There's always just something interesting about them from like when I first started looking into that stuff. Because that's like one of the first ones that people like always showed me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's hard to really put into words see my only like full-fledged uh like windico experience is is it before dawn that one choose your own adventure game? until dawn until dawn yes and uh the, the big twist and reveal oh it was spooky it was them the whole time but um that's okay. like that's like the only experience i have with them uh <laughs> i remember seeing that game yeah, and I remember seeing like a fan dub of that as well. <laughs> but the the whole thing of like, oh, there's a, a killer on the loose. Uh oh, actually, it's these creatures that will uh, kill you in like in without even trying. Well, to be fair, there was a killer, and he was he was a there, present threat. There was threat. one, but <laughs> there there was one, but then there was also the bigger threat. Yeah. Which made him significantly less scary overall. <laughs> mm. See, I, I have two issues with that game. And both of them come in forms of jump scares. I don't mind the other jump scares in the game. I think that they're fine. Uh, you know, I, I don't like jump scares in general because I'm a big baby. But uh, there there is one jump scare when you are looking through a telescope. Uh where you know one of your friends jumps in front of it and you know oh, tries yeah. to scare you which is that's a great one and then they do a rinse and repeat of that one but it's 
it's a zombie. And then when it happens, the characters don't comment on it. They scream and that's it, that they move on. Uh, and then the second one happens the- later on where there's a, one of the girls is going through the, the basement and she steps through a doorway and a banshee ghost screams in her face. She doesn't react at all. And I think that that's stupid. That's dumb filler jump scares. <laughs> she doesn't react? I, I'm pretty sure she just, she might let loose a scream, but that's it. She doesn't but do that's anything it. after that. That's it. There's no like commentary, unlike the rest of the game. If I remember correctly, I think there's one moment until dawn that I kind of remember, and it's one of the girls finds a trap door, and they they you can slowly open it, yeah, like with the suspense music, and there's nothing in there, and then they turn around and the window goes right there. Yep. <laughs> See, I think that's a that good was, scare. That was a fun one. Yeah, that, that, that one was a fun, fun scare. One. <laughs> Even if it does result in you losing that character. <laughs> yeah, pre- pretty much. <laughs> but like that game, I think the game is all right. You know, it's all right for the the studio that produced it for the one of the first of its kind. But those two scares really pull the experience down a few points for me. Um, uh, everything else about the game is, I think, great. Uh, personally, uh, if anybody has a different opinion than me, uh, you can leave. But I-, I will time you out and ban you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Just All like right. that. So so Windigos and Mothman. Very good choice. I I don't know a lot of cryptids myself, uh, even though I've watched like every single bandit cryptid stream, but I would also have to go with Mothman because he's a little too goofy not to like. <laughs> I mean it's like when you have so many, Mothman just feels really funny to look at <laughs> uh, he, he's he's just uh, a, a silly little fella that's all i could say <laughs> he's just a little guy <laughs> you don't mean no harm give him a little head pats take care of him let him do his thing <laughs> it's mothman and the, the flatwoods monster for me yes yes i i do kind of enjoy the flatwoods mar- monster as well hmm. Now, if you if you count SCPs as cryptids, that's a different story because uh, I'm a big fan of the toaster. I think the toaster is my favorite SCP. There's too many goddamn SCPs for me to keep track of. <laughs> well, uh, it's quick, like quick man. refresher: the the toaster is whenever you're in its vicinity or touch one of its parts, uh, you refer to yourself as the toaster, and uh, like you use it as your possessive. Um, and then prolonged exposure, uh, you start acting like a toaster, uh, such as trying to toast toast, uh, trying to plug yourself in to electrical out- outlets, which you can only assume how that goes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. it, it, it's one of my favorite ones because the, uh, the entry for it is told from the perspective of a scientist who is talking as though he is the, to- the toaster, which I love. <laughs> I think the one SCP that my brain always goes to is the one that's like a ven- a coffee vending machine that yes. with like for fifty cents you can dispense any liquid. Yes, and it's the that's actually in like the OG game that they have for it the the main containment breach game. Hmm. Uh, you can find that in the cafeteria. I can't remember what it does for you or if it does anything, but whenever I've seen runs of the game. People always try to get that thing, like, immediately for some reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. They gotta get their drinks. That was Nix's question, and it's time for some interrogation questions from me. Oh, boy. It's time to look beyond the Hikari we see in front of us today and learn a little bit about you. So, Hikari, why did you become a VTuber in the first place? How did you get from where you were to where you are now today? Hmm. That's a that's a long road that was an entire year of progress. So from the start, I was one of those, you know, just gameplay and voice. Nothing mm-hmm. in between. Had the chat in the corner, but I just played fighting games for the most part. I would boot up a stream, play Street Fighter V, 
or guilty or whatever I had at the time and just do that. And that was fun for me. Uh, and then I, I ran this community and one of the people in that community was actually a VTuber. And uh, I got to check, I got to see some of their streams. And like, I wasn't fully blind to VTubers. I knew like the, 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 the obvious ones, you know, like I know your V show, Joe, your hollow live, that stuff. Mm hmm. Mostly because I think the I, I would I would watch like Corona clips at most because I like I, I think I thought Corona was just goofy mm -hmm. and the funny part you'll never believe this uh so at around the point when I was interacting with the views who do where I know um they had showed me what VR Studio was and I thought oh this is really cool I thought I thought this would be like way more complicated. And I made like a really simple model that had all the basic clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And and the the funny the best part of all this was uh, uh, one of the times when I was watching this VTuber, they uh, raided into you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember that you hopped on in from a, a different VTuber's raid. I completely forget who they are though. Uh, <laughs> uh they they go by Sky Bunny now. Yes, now I remember it, yes. <laughs> and it was at that point that I fell down the actual rabbit hole. Really? That was... Yes. Interesting. So, so I, I was the from spark. That point, so, from that, <laughs> so from that point on, from the point of meeting you and then slowly meeting everyone else, that's when I was putting more effort into making the model. And it was around the time when I, I, I reached a, a point that I liked the model a bit more, so I, I stopped like trying to make too many as many edits. I say that now as I <laughs> make like thirty outfits, and I'm just like, yeah, I could do one more, <laughs> <laughs> another. Give me more. Because it's like I learned how to rip stuff assets out of games, so it's like. I took a hat from TF2 and slapped it on my head and called it a day for an outfit. <laughs> and it was around that point that, uh, yeah, I just kept pushing on. I got onto OST and I just kept pushing on. And that's I, I got to where I am. I just kept trying to update it and push it further. Super cool. Everyone in chat is saying that I was the gateway drug to you being very into VTubing. <laughs> To, Although, to put it to put it bluntly, kind of. <laughs> uh, technically, Sky Bunny No was uh, they were yeah, the start. Yeah, <laughs> they, they were the start. They were the start. <laughs> they were the start to get me there. It was watching everyone else's stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that it's like, oh, this is really cool. It, it was like because I because I wasn't too aware of like in the indie part because I because I knew Nell did it. Mm -hmm. But that was like, I didn't know that many other people who did it. Oh, there's a lot. Many, many VTubers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I ran in, in, into the sillies, and I got to see everyone do their own thing with their own style, and it was really cool. Yeah, isn't it wild that, like, when you, when you make friends like that in this community, you see progression happen at wild, wild paces, like, in, in different ways, but people that attack problems in ways that you've never seen before and it's it's mm. wonderful i love it at least five there are at least five vtubers in this community i will agree <laughs> i think for the most part most most remaining clips or vods of my original model streams are gone mm -hmm. the furthest back is actually my most popular clip uh, which has, I believe, my second model. And it's me getting my ass kicked in Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to, you know, one of these days we'll have to do like a, a memory deep dive where we go through clips and it doesn't matter how bad they might be or how old, we just go through, uh, and, and continuously cringe at our content until we are comfortable. <laughs> I don't know why that gives me the, uh, you know, you know, hot ones, you yeah, know, that vaguely, you, yes. you know, that part, you, there's a part 
uh where they go like uh describe that describe that picture or something and it's like they pull something up from their past mm -hmm. but it's like describe that clip <laughs> and it's like it's like a, it's like an embarrassing clip from a from a vtuber <laughs> Oh goodness! I I I already know what my most embarrassing clip is, and it's it's played two to three times whenever I raid into somebody, and they have that automatic uh, play the clip on shout out thing. Oh uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know the one. Um, I gotta so say, it's very weird for me when I see that because of how because the the clips have very big jumps mm -hmm. in model progress. Oh yeah. So so the older the model I see, the worse it feels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you've come. Cause like from where from where I sit, from where I sit, and I see, and I see that basic viroid. I see that basic viroid of myself with the yellow, with the incorrect eye color, wearing a a, a hoodie with some lazy doodles on it. It feels weird. It's like you're not me anymore. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> uh yes, Espion. Um this model was made by Lady of the Dragons, who is uh, another friend of ours. I uh, will give her a quick shout out really fast actually. Maybe. Lady has too much power in their hands. Is is it Lady of Dragons VT or is it Lady of the Dragons now? I I think she's changed it several times. <laughs> Is this the is is this for the Twitter account? Because if it's the Twitter account, it's Lady of Dragons VT. Okay, I'm I am looking for her Twitch. There, that's it. Perfect. Okay, so this this was a full year of progress with you. It, it it's kind of wild to know that you st started like just a little bit before meeting me. And it's kind of cool because I thought you'd been doing it for a very long time. Um, whenever I stopped into your your streams, because you stream a lot of old games, a lot of retro, um, I thought you you had it all together. You were like, "Oh, this is your gig. I've been doing this for years now." <laughs> Hell no! Hell no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I I am in the boat of I wing it. I I just I just go along and try to make it work. <laughs> the only way to do it the the most powerful way <laughs> most most streams most people might catch me in is i have like a, li a laundry list of games i gotta play something i want to play something <laughs> that'll do yep there okay it is. here we go yep. we played this for four hours done deal <laughs> that's it raid out ready for the next stream <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, for the longest time, it's just like because before, like for the most part, I I I would play fighting games. I would go through, I would talk to people, and mostly just get that done. I would do ranked games, and that wasn't always a fun time. Sometimes you get some, you would get some salt. You know, salt always happens with ranked. <laughs> yeah, classic, classic. The the fighting game experience is getting angry a lot of the time. I really <laughs> try. I really try to not like show it. Mm -hmm. I have I, I have a lot of patience, but some games wear it out really fast. <laughs> Speaking of which, how is your training for the Dragon Ball Z tourney next week going? It's going <laughs> <laughs> you see here's the the problem with that it's called because i because i played originally on the console versions mm -hmm. where i had the dlc on the console version i don't have the dlc on the pc version so oh, no. my team i have so i have to remake a team because my ass is not spending six dollars a character again <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's, it, it is. There's no packs or anything. It's six for every individual character. There's character packs, but they're not on sale. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, that that's and uh... like the, the biggest addition of the game that you can because when the sales go on, that game goes down really cheap. Like mm -hmm. the 
like the one hundred and twenty dollar version can go down to like fifteen bucks. Damn, really? Holy shit! It's pretty nice, but it only gets you season one. There's still like two more seasons of characters. <laughs> God damn. They must have added a shit ton of characters after I stopped playing, because I, I didn't remember that that many for DLC. That and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is that DLC better than most. Yep. You'll love when it's physically, when you can feel the pay to win your character. Nappa, top tier, best character in the game. He's goofy as fuck. <laughs> I, I love seeing him because if someone plays him, I get to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, because that's one of those characters that is no one knows what they do because mm -hmm. no one plays them. So you have the advantage. And, and then through that, he becomes goofier. Yes, because I get to laugh at someone who doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, are, are you keeping your team a secret? For the most part. I, okay, okay. I feel like, well, it, it, there's only so many characters. And one of them is, for anyone who knows me, an obvious spot that's already taken. <laughs> I'm just kind of curious. Anyone who knows me and my love of Dragon Ball. Who your lead is. <laughs> like, that's that's my curiosity. Like, who, who you main, I suppose. Like... Because I know in that game you main multiple characters because you need to as far as the team goes, but um, like, who's your favorite character to play, I suppose? Hmm. That's really tough. Because a lot, because I'm the person who, in a fighting game, goes around the cast. We have ah, people yeah. that, you know, they stick with their main team. They, they, they ride or die on that team. Mm -hmm. I would go around a little less on fighters because certain characters I just liked a lot more. I'm not going to front. It, it's not my kind of team if I don't have Yamcha on it. <laughs> I need him there. He is my wolf boy. He is precious <laughs> and I love him. <laughs> I, I, I know a dragon that would disagree with you, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, they can suck it. I don't care. Yeah, I, You're getting I, the wolf hurricane no matter what. <laughs> I, I have a uh, a soft spot in my heart for that bastard. And um, e even if he's in the anime, what not the best character. I'll, uh... I, I will forever be on my soapbox. He's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's just always in the worst place at the worst time. Yes. There's always the joke of like, Yamcha's here, Yamcha dies. He's died twice. Yeah, yeah. Which Only is less less than Krillin. Krillin's died like the most. He's died five. <laughs> He's died more than Goku. Yeah, you can't keep that motherfucker down. He'll he'll keep on chugging. He'll come back. I mean, <laughs> in... I think in terms of other characters. If I had the DLC, my team is different with DLC because mm -hmm. my my the, the character I, I love playing to death is Janemba. Mm -hmm. Janemba is just like Janemba's aesthetic of like being able to defrag himself yeah. as a teleport was always the coolest part for me. That yeah. he has a sword. I know I, Trunks has a sword, but Trunks' sword isn't as cool. <laughs> I didn't know they added Janemba. Janimba, Janimba, Janimba. Uh, I, I didn't know they added him to the game. The okay, I've, I'm gonna be looking up just every single character's highlights after this stream, and I'm gonna go to bed with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a it's got a pretty full roster now. Yeah, the, it's, it seems massive if they have like Janimba in there as well. They got Janimba. There's also a thing that was with the game is that the game uh got stuff from the movie that was coming out at the time that was dragon ball super broly the movie that was coming out so they had the tie-in with the dlc mm. so okay. you got the super version of broly and the super version of gogeta that came out with them and, okay and uh they were you know not balanced oh yeah oh you know but you know who is in a fighting game for dlc 
Yeah, I, I find that a lot of games like to push a character really hard, and to do that, they'll you know, look at that dial right there. I'm gonna crank it up, and then like a, a half a year later, they crank it back down to what it was supposed to be, so that they can be like, "Oh, we we balanced it. We heard the community's problems. We fixed. We t we tuned it. We tuned it." Yeah. Uh, and then for some characters, it's like, all right, we'll crank that dial down. Oh, what's this? I accidentally hit the other dial, and it's cranked up to the, the maximum. Whoopsies. <laughs> if your arc system works, you put out Labco Android 21, and you actually just broke the dial. <laughs> you, you broke the dial off the machine. <laughs> Too powerful. Can't you, made a, you made a character that got banned because they were so good. <laughs> Yep. Uh, classic. You, you gotta love the balancing. <laughs> Alright, I, I apologize getting us off track, but uh, next week, what, what is the day that you are uh, you're competing in the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament? Uh, let me pull up. I had it written down, but let me just pull it up so I don't get misinformation, you know? Mm -hmm. It well <laughs> is on Lab coat supers look sick though. Hold on, I, I I need to take a look at this. She's fantastic, but she's also uh, unfair. <laughs> so if since you haven't seen them, do you know why they were banned by any chance? No, I, I have no clue. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so the first thing is that it will. I it's going to be at July twenty uh, first. At 1 p.m. EST. July 21st, 1 p.m. EST is when Hikari is competing, uh, going up against valued friends such as Fizzle Chew. That's the only person I remember from the roster. <laughs> <laughs> so, the reason why she's banned, aside from a multitude of just really strong buttons, Android Labco has a super. Where it's, uh, I don't know if it's a super or just a com her command grab. She has a command grab that, for the entire duration of the match, nerfs that specific character by 21% damage and buffs her damage by 21%. Oh. It doesn't, it doesn't stack, but it's a permanent debuff to that character. That, that's wild. Do you play multiple rounds uh, with the, the three characters? Uh, in terms of, because it's a it's a it's a team of three, so when one character goes out, the next character goes in. Yeah. But for for matches, you typically can do like best of two, best of three. Okay, I, that that is kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. So, so there was a there was a bit when before she was banned, uh, Labco had. I don't. I believe it was Lab Code that had like eighty percent of people playing had them on their team. Oh my god! Holy now, shit! For a, for, a, for a high tier character, you know, you're, you like you, you never see that high of a reten of a character retention. Yeah, it's you're, it's you're around see, you're, like, you'll that see like forty. You see forty fifty. Yeah, the forty fifty percent. I was gonna say like eighty percent. That's a that's a problem. <laughs> PK saying her super is she makes the atom bomb. That's why she has the lab coat. <laughs> I mean, one of her supers is literally she just point blank nukes you. So, oh, well. like she point blank she point blank makes up a, a giant explosion. PK is the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, guru here. I, I will trust everything that PK says from now on. Yes, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so po apologies for the huge <laughs> derail. <laughs> I just wanted to know when uh, when you were you were fighting. Um, all right, all right. Ba back to the back to the 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 brain. Just had a, an aneurysm. My my icebreaker questions for you. Where where did you come up with the name Hikari Sentinel? Where where why does that name spark joy with you? So I've gone through a couple names in certain places, mm. and I typically don't. I 
for a lot of times it's like you need i just need a name to, to put somewhere but like i never had like a really solid name mm -hmm. uh because before this it was just like ghosted fox ghosted kitsune which is like an old name i used to go but i never really used it for anything mm -hmm. and that was that was the twitter handle i used to have before i changed it to match up with what i have now yeah but uh i wanted to have a new name too like for doing the streams for just doing everything because before because that was before i had started streaming when i started streaming i wanted to have a name that i, I just wanted to have a new start new name so i went with kari sentinel because i just thought it sounded cool because <laughs> i just i just wanted a different name I just yeah. Because otherwise it would have been something. Because my the name that people would call be by. Like I don't I don't want to be called ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't. Yeah. It didn't. It, it, nothing wrong with being called that. It's just I just it didn't feel like it would fit, connect me. <laughs> I like just I like this name. I like this. I see. Okay. And and along with that name. Like, did you did you come up with it around the time that you were kind of coming up with the concept of your VTuber? Uh, I came up with it around like a little bit before. Okay, but it was around this. It was it was somewhere within the same frame. Gotcha. Okay, and it kind of fits up well because you know Hikari is the name that a lot of people call you by, but the Sentinel part uh, does kind of come back to the roots of your your character, which I think is really good. Hmm. Um, is there anything special that you've been working on that you might be willing to share with us? Hmm, something special. Well, I've been trying to. I've been. I. I dipped my. I. I I've been pushing slightly into making videos mm -hmm. of my with my self of resources and I maybe if I can get the procrastination out of my head to uh, sit up and actually work on it I like to push more videos of perhaps uh, the, the, the dreaded thing known as lore yes. into the world you love to see it I have I pushed one thing out and it made me feel good and that's scary <laughs> it is kind of a scary feeling, isn't it? When you you finally make something that you're like, holy shit, I'm very, very proud of. There it is, everybody. Yeah, I, 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 I sent it out. I, I, I sent that out. My brain went, hey, you did something cool. Do yes. it again. <laughs> this video did send a chill down my spine in, in a good way. I liked it. <laughs> So y'all better go check this one out because it's really good. <laughs> more, yes, more lore. I, I've said this many times. I've had actually someone disagree with me on this. Uh, I think that you know there's your personality because you're playing a VTuber. You know you're, you're playing this this persona, um, but not a lot of people come up with lore, or when they do, they don't really like. They don't follow through with it you know they're just like oh i'm i'm a magical kitsune girl that's it that's all they do that's all they say it never comes up in streams ever again they're, they're a magical kitsune girl who plays video games i will never bring this up or i will bring it up once a stream of eight hours <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make the the pun pun sound that's about it that's that's literally all i'll do that's my lore uh, <laughs> and admittedly it is very difficult to keep up appearances while you're streaming but i think that people would benefit more if they they leaned into their bit even if there's no acting involved if they leaned into it a bit more um it i think it enhances the flavor of the stream and you can be very creative with it i say a thing at least in terms of uh what i made is that it, it coincides directly with one of my greater faults which is i have a bad memory mm -hmm. i will forget things i like talk with like like within a minute so it 
works inside with the writing for how I've put myself because I'm an android that has mem- with have memory issues. Mm-hmm. I don't remember where I came from. All I know is that I I found this junkyard and I live here. No one no one works here. It's an empty place. Yeah, it's it's your little spot. Chance, yeah, be a germa germa tuber. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 how you get that's how you get people to stay you, oh my god germa. yeah be germa you know what i'm gonna rebrand i'm gonna become germa vt <laughs> you're, you're just you're just a p you're just a png of one of the green screen germas <laughs> oh that'd be terrible do you think you'd be mad if you did that <laughs> oh my I don't, god I, I don't i don't know i think it'd be, it'd be, it'd be funny you're just you're just like you're just like the tea posing germa picture <laughs> and anytime you talk it's just like one of the other frames <laughs> oh my god like imagining a social experiment where you try to see what people would think of you when doing that would be incredible uh, i might have to perform this someday <laughs> <laughs> new account out of nowhere and it's just it's just germa audio clips on a yeah. VTuber. <laughs> hey everybody, I Germa VT. <laughs> right, uh, chat, chat, I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna listen to what you I'm not gonna <laughs> and, and there, it's not even like an editing jump cut. It is an in stream actual cut to you doing the bit. <laughs> this will be V tubing in twenty thirteen. <laughs> Uh, we're getting a lot of banger quotes today. <laughs> All right, and so 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 you are working on lore, and you, you have your your cyborg pretty much cemented in right now. But I gotta know mm-hmm. if you weren't a cyborg, if you weren't you know the 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 the, the person we see in front of you, what kind of VTuber would you be? Would you be anything different? That's really tough because I've I've written a lot of like short story stuff for myself, mm-hmm. and this one directly comes from one of those short stories I've written that will never show up because I'm too embarrassed to put it anywhere. But it's based off something that was very personal to me, and while I've written char- stories of other characters, I don't think I have anything that would connect with me as well as this one. Mm-hmm. Because like I've made other models, I've made other models that like I would have was like I was like I could I could have done this or you know, but it's like the other one is just like a the other one was funnily enough just gonna be like you know how uh, Technomancer is uh, a TV headed VTuber. Yes, yes. It was gonna be something similar to that, but with a CRT like a computer head. <laughs> You, you were going to be the... Well, you said computer. I thought you were about to say CRT. You, you were going to be the uh, the guy who dispensed CRTs on the uh, the doorsteps of <laughs> random homes that one year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one... I like, I like that guy. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to a real OG. <laughs> my, my man comes up, gives you a CRT, walks away. Yeah, with a CRT on his head too like he was wearing it as a mask it's heavy yeah <laughs> well i'm sure it was gutted so i, I Even know that when the... it's gutted you can still uh, yeah pretty heavy thing <laughs> it's the it's the perfect mask and no one will be able to see it to see through it at that time of night hmm. impossible all right and this is the question that you know it, it's starting to become tradition now so this is the last time I'll be able to express it uh, without, uh, you know, jump scaring you with something. But what does it mean when you come home and you turn on stream or you're you're on your socials? What does it mean to be Ikari? <sighs> That's a hard one. When I get on my computer and I put on my headphones and I boot up Discord and Opera 
Yes, yes. Steam and OBS and everything. When I boot up Vinyon and I see the model in front of me, it gives me a lot of comfort. Mm -hmm. Because while it's not me, the, the the version of me that I see in stream makes me feel happy. Because it's something that I've created and I pushed out with without any idea like I didn't I didn't think I'd get to where I would be, but I was willing to push out and give it a shot and I'm really happy with what I've got. So when I sit down and I put the headphones on and I just give it a go. Let's see how it goes today. It makes me feel happier. I feel that deep in my soul. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very proud of you for the steps that you've taken in order to, well, reach out to new people, make new friends, uh, get all the contacts that you can, and uh, cement yourself as a... Uh, well, what you do as a VTuber. I really like the the retro feel of everything that you go for. Hmm. Now, I gotta say, it was very scary to push myself out. Oh, 100%. It's, it's probably the scariest thing that any human being can do. <laughs> I, feel, I, uh, I feel like it, it might be like a, a repeat of what other people say, but like, I, it's that thing where like everyone feels cooler than you. Yeah, yeah. Until you, I feel until you that approach way. them, I mean, it's like they're still cool, but <laughs> like no, no, yeah, no, like no, no, no. Everyone's cool. Don't come on. But it's just that thing of like, oh man, they're they're way cooler than me at the moment. Yeah, I'm not worthy. <laughs> it's like, man. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. That's kind of how I was at the start when I met y'all. It's like, <laughs> damn, y'all got to put together. I'm over here still trying to figure this out. <laughs> but, you know, things take time. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, tell, to tell you the truth, and I know that you've probably figured it out by now, but we all feel that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. We all think someone else is a, a big shot that we can't touch, and then, you know, there's still a big shot. It's just they are not as scary as they might seem. Everyone's still a big shot. Yeah. It's just that the nerves have finally died down. Yeah, and now that you're there, you can ask anybody to collab and not be afraid. You can say that, but my brain will still <laughs> collapse. <laughs> possible. <laughs> go go to infinity and beyond. Ask uh, uh, Iron Mouse to, to collab with you. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me let me just uh, let me just uh, real quick. Hold on. Let me just uh, add her real fast. Yeah. All right. I, I can't okay, be her anymore. Me. Iron Mouse just replied. I'll, I'll see y'all later, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I sorry. I hate you with the fucking. All right. Let me just type up, uh, an email. <laughs> there it is. Send send it out. <laughs> Boom. Instantly, she replies, and uh, yeah, she pulls you away. And you, you you leave us behind forever. Hell no! You kidding? <laughs> and then Buffy's out there, like shaking their fists, like you th those damn corpos, not again! <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> ah, are you kidding me? If I, if, that thing of like, oh, what if you went big? Uh, at some point, it's just like I don't want to. Like, I want everyone else to be there. Yeah, exactly, and bring like, everybody up with you. Because I rather be with the people I like. <laughs> yeah, there, there are some scary people at the top that are you know, not, maybe not the most favorable, uh, to be sure, but... Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of eyes at the top, and it's scary. Yeah, I, I find that there's a point where you, when you're bigger, you have your friends, but you also have people that you have as, like, contacts that are not necessarily... Um, your, your close acquaintances, but you can still call on them. It's just, you know, they're, they're not going to be there for you like your friends are. Um, and that's kind of scary. It's it's a little uh, nerve-wracking to, to think about. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta yes, balance yes. it all, basically. Yeah. 
Right, all right, Hikari. But... Tell me a little bit about yourself. Your 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 character. Not not you you as as a real life person, but <laughs> You mean you mean me as myself. Yes, the the lore. As Well, me being myself, I am an android who lives out in a scrapyard in the middle of nowhere. I, 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 I don't know where it is. I never found a map. It's just as I live in a garage, scrapyard. People keep seeming to find me my place. I don't know how they figure it out. And also, no one gives me a map, so I don't know where I am still. Oh. I, you would think that, you'd think with the people that stopped by that someone would hand me a map. Or, yeah. you know, just tell me where I am. I, I'm going to blame that one on Buffy. Buffy should definitely have the star charts for you. Bare minimum. I'm in that boat where I see everyone doing their thing, and you know, you know that meme of uh, you know all these all these political events. I just want to grill, for God's sake. <laughs> That's me. But I just want to live. I just want to live in my garage. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. You 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 just want to live in the middle of nowhere, safe from all of these strange goings ons. Yeah. Now, to be fair, also, I'm not exactly in the best state of repair. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the mem sometimes memory comes and goes, but I I, I write stuff down mm -hmm. so I don't forget everything. Now, do you do you have like a base timestamp for the time that you were created? Like, how how long has it been? That's that's a little too far back to remember. Mm, I, I see. see at the time I was writing down my events. I it, that that part of this already just kind of faded. Mm. I don't know who made me, but I remember being treated for as like a caretaker of sorts. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how to do any of my actions, but I'm still functional, so something works in there. In I mean, the, the parts inside me. Do you take care of the scrapyard at all, or do you just uh, kind of let it live I, around you? I take care of the scrapyard. I make sure stuff isn't a danger to anything. Nothing's going to fall. Nothing, everything's going to be proper. So I guess maybe that's where that goes. I take things that are uh, collectible to me or personal to me, and I put them on a shelf. So there's a shelf of junk and personal stuff to me. There are no landmines. Yeah, you in, like, make sure that there are now. no landmines. <laughs> now, look, I, I don't know if any of these cars might my, my scrapyard to have landmines, but if I find one, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are you sure that that's not, like, a function that you are supposed to have? Uh, organizing, making sure that the scrapyard is safe? Are, are you not performing the tasks that you may have been assigned at some point? Maybe I've been performing the task, but this has just been something that I felt like I want, I should do. Okay. Maybe that's just a part of it, but I wouldn't know. I don't remember the original assignments. Interesting. Very There's interesting. There's nothing in those banks. And, you know, waking up in that scrapyard, you got the... You you got the the drip, I'm just gonna say. You got some of the cooler cooler outfits that I've seen. Yes, yes! I think of the headbands. But, uh... <laughs> a lot, of, where, a lot where... of it came from... Yeah, a lot of it came from just some... Because there's uh, a li there's a living quarters... There's an office living quarters area in the scrapyard, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was just in some closets. That people, uh, this place was used. This place seemed to have been like ran by a, lot, a couple, a lot of people, but people just kind of left everything behind here. There's a lot of clothes of just different kinds here. Interesting. H has anyone ever described to you? what it's like coming up on this place? Or do they just kind of show up? 
people just kind of show up. I don't know how they get here, but they do. And they never explain I mean, how or talk about the experience. Maybe they do. I don't remember, to be mm -hmm. fair. I see. Maybe they did and I forgot. So this this memory problem that you have is a constant ongoing thing and it's not just a not just a you know amnesiac effect of a certain point in time. It's it's been a constant since I've woken up. I see. That memory is just inconsistent. Parts, information will come and go. Mostly go. <laughs> So when I keep when if I write things down when I get them, it'll be easier to keep it in my systems. Mm -hmm. So if I lose that book, it's over for me to be fair. <laughs> it's Jover. <laughs> Man. So are you not like concerned that there might be something like a part inside of you that's that's messed up or broken or uh, are you even able to like operate on yourself in that regard, or do you need the help of someone skilled? I've done self repair on myself. There's mm -hmm. there's a couple of welding marks under this jacket that I don't like. I just kind of leave there. I just kinda... The jacket, the, the arms, and there's there's a couple parts. You, you ever seen you ever seen Terminator? Where Arnie like like opens part of himself to like show that like oh these the fuel cells are depleted and they're dangerous and he gets rid of them. Mm -hmm. It's like I have open parts of myself to see what's wrong, but I can't. I there's not all of it I can fix. Mm -hmm. You need a specialist to look after you, basically. If if someone is willing to do that, I see. But for right now, I've I've gotten well with what I've done. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's plenty of metal to use here. No is one's that, using it. That is fair. And if you can if you can craft it, so are you are you afraid that you're gonna run out of scrap for these pieces that you need? Like, do is this? A yard that is still used, even if there's not a lot of people around. Well, the the gates, the front gate's been locked off, and no one's ever show, no one ever really shows up. It's always empty. But when I got here, it was a full mess of just rows and piles of scrap and cars just stacked on top of each other so for at least for the time being i'm not gonna run out of scrap for a long while okay i was wondering you if can this do a is lot like, of parts of the car if this was some ulterior dimension like alternate space in which you inhabit and mm -hmm. it just so happens to have uh, trash and scrap spilled onto Everywhere. it randomly Nah, it's it's just some, it's just some seemingly just American area scrapyard, just <laughs> middle of nowhere, just, not America. Middle of nowhere, <laughs> down, middle of nowhere, down a road that doesn't seem to fucking end. <laughs> you have the uh, you have the courage of the cowardly dog thing going on right now with the uh, they live out in the middle of nowhere, but they seem to attract all of the attention. Yeah, but in, in, instead of like endless desert land, encourage it's trees. Okay, a lot of a lot of trees. I can't really see past them. Have but, you ever thought about leaving, like going out from beyond? I feel like if I leave, I like forget where to go back. That's true, and you can't guarantee that the uh, the book will remain safe. Yeah. If I stay here, the book doesn't get damaged. If I go out there, something might break it. I don't want to lose that. That is that is entirely fair. And you so, see so to bide your time in the scrapyard, what do you do? Like aside from the 
uh, the putting trophies up on shelves and rearranging stuff and making sure that things don't fall over. Do you have any way that you spend the time? Well, for the sake of what was left behind, people needed things to pass the time on breaks, I guess. There's a couple machines that people would play games on mm -hmm. that I have mm -hmm. uh, taken for myself because no one's using it. The machine is right there. It works. It's mine now. Yep, commandeered. I mean, hey, if you left it there, there's no one around. <laughs> Who, there's no cameras. It's mine now. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Silver. <laughs> Thank you for resubscribing on a 17-month streak. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you got all of the games that you could ever dream of, all of the consoles that you could think of, and a stream deck. Like, how lucky is that? Or not a stream deck, sorry, a capture card. How lucky is that? <laughs> Everything you need to uh, live stream. <laughs> Hey, I'm not saying any. Hey, I'm not saying none of this is also just makeshift parts too. This is true. I can I cannot believe that Hikari you, built. You can, you can you can jury rig a lot of things if you can figure it out. <laughs> I can't believe you jury rigged your your stream capture card. <laughs> oh, the wonders you, of you, science! Hey. If I can make it work, I'll make it work. <laughs> if not, there's always the power of uh, meeting. Uh, there's always the power of meeting. Uh, meeting someone named Vim who lives lives in a lair. It's true. I hear he has some of the best consoles. Yeah, it's it's crazy how fast they get stuff here. <laughs> uh, shipped immediately somehow. It's like straight to you. It's like, it's like that. Uh, that Looney Tunes. Uh, instant Acme delivery where it drops right on your head the moment you order it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, as long as you can sidestep just in time, you'll you'll have it right when you need it. You'll you'll, you'll never know the first time. It's gonna land on you the first time. Oh yeah, that's the lesson you learn. Eventually, you learn. Y you do learn the timing, which is very specific. At around like point. Eight seconds. That's how long you have this after you hit the the button to move the out of the way. The moment you hit that, the, mo the moment you hit it, it's a cute, it's a quick time event. Yeah, you gotta dodge out of the way like Chris Redfield or whatever they do in Resident Evil. I've never played a Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> You've never played a Resident Evil. I I have played Resident Evil Seven, and um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I only beat that, the that second boss. Scary game. Yeah, that was your scary game, and you you chickened out <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't do it i even replayed it on stream and I, I chickened out again because i didn't have any of my sillies in call with me <laughs> ah. see there's a moment after the initial chase from the dad um that is fine for me but the second that it starts transitioning into the mother i lose all of yes, my composure yes. Thank you, Espeon. It, That's like, fair, I suppose. I can I can go in with a strong mental fortitude, but the more of those bugs and flies and bees I hear whizzing by my ears, the the more composure I lose. It it grates at me, and then I I get too scared to play. So. <laughs> gotcha. I'm also a coward. I will say, so. also, I, I'm in the same boat. It, it took me. It took me a, a great deal of effort to even consider something like Silent Hill. Because horror is uh, not typically my boat. Not mm -hmm. really. You, you have a lot of people that are just like horror buffs that were just like, oh, I can watch anything. It's like, no. it's like how, do you people do, how do you people get through these things? I'm fucking scared. And I get that's its point, but like, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I have to watch it with other people. I can't do any of it alone. So, so you finished Silent Hill, right? Did you enjoy it? No, I didn't uh, finish you, Silent Hill. You didn't Hill. finish it? Did you get too spooked? Uh, I, I, I finished the hospital sequence. Mm -hmm. And I put the controller down. 
Mm -hmm. And I saved, and uh, I haven't put it back in the PlayStation since. Wow. You know what you need to do. This, this is very important, Hikari. You can't let games go unfinished. I will turn this back on you. Touché. If I if, uh, all right, I see. If I <laughs> sit, if I if I if I get up, get Silent Hill, <laughs> and I finish it, I will finish it in call. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. I'm putting my foot down. I will do this in call. I will play it. Mm -hmm. Maybe not all tonight, but between you know over the course of time mm -hmm. if i finish it in call you got to go back to 7 uh either the either that or a different resident evil okay i i will give it a shot <laughs> if if it makes it if it makes it better maybe like one of the ones that you can co-op with someone yeah uh 5 Five and six, you can co-op, but six is uh, a game. Yeah, I I would like to play five. Uh, PK, I'm talking about seven. Uh, I I didn't have any friends with me to to when I replayed it because uh, I believe a lot of people were taken for OST, and uh, like I, it was just a, a weird night for me in general. I, I was just too scared to keep going. I, I like reached a point where like. When I would reach for the W key, I wouldn't press it down. I would start trying to push the S key. <laughs> oh yeah, PK. Because uh, uh, Soul was with me for RE3. Mm. So, so, Soul, Soul, uh, because it was my first time going through Resident Evil 3. And Soul has a lot of experience with Resident Evil 3. So uh, he got to gush about the game while I was experiencing it for, for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we both got to uh, enjoy frustration over one really shitty water puzzle. And then that was it. Because, it like, it's a lot... When you game, Games of that kind are a lot are much easier when you have someone to guide you through. In terms mm -hmm. of, like... Because, like, when someone's with you... It's like, yeah, for horror movies, too, it's like the... The scary part is, is like the 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 effect of getting scared is diminished because mm -hmm. someone's with you. It, that was, was the going in circle stream. It sounds like an absolute blast. What are you talking about? That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you there. I, I will. Okay, if you, you don't even have to finish it. I I will play Resident Evil Seven in in call. I will beat the game. Uh, definitely won't be streaming it though because I get too nervous about the the chat to focus in on the game. So <laughs> I was I had I had the nerves. I had the biggest nerves when I was streaming Silent Hill for the first time <laughs> because I was going around er everywhere and I was just like like you know when you, like you scr you like you scrunch in because like you don't want to move. For the sake of being scared, yeah, you, I scrunch in. I you roly poly your your muscles. You just kind of like tense up so far. <laughs> I, I tense up, so I'm just a fucking ball. I just like, <laughs> yeah, I, like, um, no, yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna hold up to my side. I, yes. I want to at least finish it because I, I want to, I want to give it a real shot. Because if I beat them, then that's a horror game. And it's a horror game for a horror game that I will have actually beat it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you do beat it, and there is some semblance of enjoyment that you found, uh, Silent Hill 2 is also really good. Nix, you say I was doing fine in Silent Hill. Uh, just because I sound like I'm doing fine does not convey what I'm actually doing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I looked fine and I was talking fine. My body said no. Mm -hmm. That's how I am with seven. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Silent Hill too. I, I haven't played it. I watched a playthrough, admittedly, but from what I saw of it, the story is presented so well. I love it as as goofy as it is. 
<laughs> my friends are big babies. Fuck you, dicks. <laughs> Shit to fuck you, up. Nick. <laughs> I, I'm not a horror person. You know, you know what I? You know what I am? I'm act. I'm, I, give me action. Give me double may cry. There. I'm, uh, give me double may cry. I'm at peace. <laughs> Voice inflection is very different from emotional composure. I agree. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that this is a good point to take a break. A really quick one because I got to run to the restroom. Um, uh, but, chat, if you have any questions for Hikari, we're gonna go to open questions. And, uh, make, make sure you save them, though, so that we can easily get them all together pinpointed. Um, and we will be right back.
All right, and we are back. This is the wrong scene. Oops. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Buffy has a slew of questions waiting and ready for you, Hikari. But oh boy, the the the, the space buffoon has a plethora of questions for me. Let's see what they. Let's see what the clown wants. I, I I will steal. I will yoink the first question for myself. Um, if you could have a drink behind you at the bar, what would that drink be? And well, what would you name it if you could name it? Hmm. So I want to preface this with a specific question. Yes. And it's that are it, 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 can it be non-alcoholic? Oh, one hundred percent. Okay, so here here's my so <laughs> here here's a here's a funny thing. Uh, anytime there is a soda machine at like whether it's like a you know gas station or some movie theater, I make the same drink every time with soda. Okay. And uh, I have gotten everyone thinks I'm weird as hell for it, <laughs> but I don't care. It tastes good. It tastes good to me, and it's uh, it, it's uh, six sodas mixed together. <laughs> oh my god! So, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk you through the process. These are all equal parts together. Okay. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> all right you start with sprite or some kind of some kind of lemon lime right okay you mix it with pink lemonade or some kind of lemonade you mix it with root beer okay i'm getting somewhere with this uh ginger ale of some fr form uh, any orange soda that's there. It doesn't. It has. It, 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 it typically is orange soda. Okay. Like Fanta or uh, Mountain Dew and uh, whatever is the Coca Cola or Pepsi. Okay, that that is and seven. I make, seven I, ingredients I, right I, there. That's at most. That's peak. That's at most. I t if, if, if I don't, because I don't always put the Coke or Pepsi. That's like last resort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fair. And I know this drink as a kamikaze drink because that's what my dad used to show me. Was uh, it's like all right, here's the, you, you. You want a little bit of everything, but you got to make it equal so you, it's not just sludge. I, I love this. This is actually a really cool concept. <laughs> you because wanna... if you put too much of everything, if you put too much of everything, then you get nothing. Yeah, it You get a weird bad. sludge flavor that tastes like syrup. Mm -hmm. If you make it equal, you actually get a you get a you get a more interesting flavor, I'd say. It's worth trying it. I I will write this down as like something I will do. Like the next time I go to the gas station, I will do this. <laughs> <laughs> so i have a weird combination i don't think i've told anybody uh, at least not in this group this specific combo that i made uh, when i was a kid i was also a fan of mixing drinks um non-alcoholic obviously and i was obsessed with root beer so i i would mix root beer with everything um and then one day i had the bright idea what if i what if I put root beer with orange juice? Now hold on, here be out. Mm. Mm. It I'm actually, it actually tastes very nice. There's, it, it takes away all of that like harsh tang from the orange juice, and brings out the sweetness in both of them. Uh, it's wild. It, it does like, sound nasty. It does not look appealing. <laughs> it like, looks it looks like vomit, I, but <laughs> I, I mean, I can't I can't like argue when my drink <laughs> is a weird hodgepodge color. Yeah, this this is fair. I I, I thought you know you so, were so it's like so it's like OG. I'm assuming pulpless. <laughs> yeah, like, without no, pulp. No pulp. No pulp. No pulp, pulp on this one. <laughs> no, no pulp orange juice with root beer. 
Yeah. I'm, you know, sounds bad. Probably tastes okay. So I will say it is more orange juice than it is root beer for this specific combo. Mm. I I have tried it the other way around, and um, the root beer just drowns it out. It's kind of like a creamer to your coffee in that regard. Like, that's how much you would put in. So you put a little bit in. <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, a majority uh, of one, just a little bit in. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Like, wh whatever whatever floats your boat, basically. You could keep tasting it until it tastes to your liking. Um, it, it definitely hits the heartburn scale, uh, because that is an acid <laughs> with a carbonated drink. Uh, so Ooh, <laughs> drink at your own that's risk. Gonna <laughs> that's gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, I'm mm. sorry, Buffy. Like this, this combo is something that I I have lived with for a long time. Uh, I love it. I will. It it, it is my Bonnie sandwich. Uh, that that is what I could describe it as. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> yeah, I've I've known this drink by my dad's name for it just being. The kamikaze. The kamikaze. Because, because, because it's it's it, you, your stomach's not gonna enjoy. Your stomach's not gonna like you for it. Oh, definitely <laughs> not. I I've mixed like three to four sodas together and had to leave it, the party a, early because it hurt my. It's stomach. a self. It, it's a self destructive drink. <laughs> but it's damn, if in that moment it don't taste good. It's the drink you you get when you really want to leave the party, but you don't have a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, it's um, you're not feeling it. You you take the mix, give yourself about give yourself about twenty minutes. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's catch up on these uh, these Buffy questions. So so Buffy has a multitude here, uh, all very important ones. Uh, why why does retro is fascinates you? Hmm? Why does retro is fascinates me? Why yes. is this why is this worded like that one game grumps bit? <laughs> does Bruno Mars is gay? Is the gay does Bruno Mars is the gay? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Retro is a strong point for me because I spent for the longest time, uh, it's like when the sixth generation was, I think, sixth generation. Is sixth generation the 360 or is that the seventh? I, I think it's six, but I could be wrong. When that generation of consoles, like the, the PS3, the 360, the Wii, I was still just playing a, like until, until 2011. I was still playing a PlayStation 2. Mm -hmm. I, I never got. I, I my a large part of my life is spent on the PlayStation and two and back. So that part never leaves me. It, it is ingrained. Six, seven generation. Okay. It took yeah. until twenty. It took until like Christmas twenty eleven for me to actually go to that generation, and then two years passed, and suddenly it's the next one. Yeah, you, like, you're damn. still stuck on the current gen, like that you were on already, and yeah. <laughs> it's like I, 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 like I had a like. There's a part in between that where I had a Wii, but the Wii doesn't really feel like it that far ahead of a push. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we we the Wii we had a lot of great stuff. I, I was a massive fan of Brawl. When I played that, oh, and then I realized, oh, Brawl, and then I re <laughs> I loved Brawl, and then I realized, man, Brawl kind of was a pain in the ass to play. Oh, definitely, one hundred percent. Because I, because I, I went, because the GameStop back when I liked going there, uh, I bought a copy of Melee that didn't work, so I had to go back and get a new copy of Melee, and then I found that I like Melee. Fast forward to today, I don't like melee. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the plot twist, amazing. So you've just but always it, liked retro. It it's sat better with you than the more modern games that were coming out at the time. Yeah, I think one thing too is just that at the time, most games I had 
were just really solid. I didn't have many issues. My only issue is that younger me was an idiot who didn't put their games back. So uh, a lot of my old library is damaged. Yep. I, uh, I, okay, I have a, a different habit. My habit is I will pull out the game that I was playing, try to replace it with the new one, and then I would put the game in the wrong case afterwards. Mm, I yeah. don't like that. Yeah. Mm, that, I, that, that rose me the wrong way, that, Iris. That <laughs> has never left me. <laughs> if I open a game, if I open one of your cases and it's the wrong game, and then I open the case that belongs to and it's the wrong game, <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. No, oh, please. I I do my best, but I, I I'm lazy. I can't be bothered to open that second case. <laughs> it's like, but then but then you open the one that belongs to and it's empty. Yeah, and then that's a new rabbit hole. Yeah, you, you, now the adventure begins anew. That's my favorite part. Oh, oh it's uh, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, next question. Uh, Buffy has. Mm. I have personally been priming both of you to speedrun certain old games. What is that? Oh happening? my! Oh and my when oh will y'all compete against each other? So I can put at least a little bit of light on this. Because you were there for one of those questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was, it's when Buffy had showed me and I was willing to try it for myself was Monster Rancher Half About, which is a spinoff of the Monster Rancher series. And it's very simple. And it was also when we you got to show you Blast Chamber for the first time. Yep. Yep. Blast for Chamber. The one, which, is, which in the game in of itself is. A game. It's great. It's wonderful. Very innovative and works entirely. Definitely works entirely. <laughs> it's a it's a very interesting one. As for the sake of actually speedrunning, I've never fully tried to speedrun something. I've never mm. like I never know how to set that up. I no, you've you've speedrun in the past, right? Yeah, I, I ran Super Mario sixty four. Uh, 16 stars, and I tried to do Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but I think I have to do a more casual version of that run, because it's incredibly difficult to complete a certain trick, so. I um, I, I, I did a, I did like a, like a, I didn't, like, didn't stream it, but I did like a joke run of Super uh, 64 speed run, because my friend was trying, I had a friend on stream who was playing 64 for the first time, and they didn't they, they were still kind of used to it and i said out of spite because he was talking shit to me about it it's just like uh i bet you can't beat this before i do and me fueled on nothing but pure spite <laughs> beat it beat it in like 26 minutes god damn holy shit <laughs> fueled on pure spite i literally <laughs> downloaded project 64 and set that up, and I beat it in like 26 minutes. <laughs> Hell yeah, that that's my favorite part. <laughs> that's why I speed ran as well. Oh, you did it for pure spite? <laughs> yes, I did it because uh, it, it was mostly myself thinking, man, I can't do this, I'm not that good. And I was like, you know what, fuck me, I could do it. And then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally did a run because I got hit with the no balls. Do it, coward! Mm -hmm. And I went, okay. And I roll up, I metaphorically roll up my sleeves, and I in a cannonless, and I got cannonless first try, and I Jesus got Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Spite will do a lot of things it, for you. It, this is fair. It, it has the luck boost factor. <laughs> Wanting to beat someone actively boosts your luck effectiveness by 30%. If you oh, didn't yeah. know, it's a, it's a real trick. Yeah, it's a real real life stat. You should use it sometime. <laughs> Honestly, the slowest part of the run was just trying to fucking kill Bowser at the end because I couldn't fucking time a throw. 
I couldn't time the last throw to save my life. Yep, that is the run killer right there, to be fair. Also, hello creep show. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Uh, what were y'all playing? If I might so ask it. I apologize since we're we're interviewing, we might not get back to your replies right away. But we are we are open questions for Hikari right now. So <laughs> Um, to answer Buffy's question, I think. Uh, I don't think we have a day when we're competing against each other. I didn't even think we were competing. Like I didn't know we were competing, but I think <laughs> I, Buffy is trying to instigate a competition. Yeah, I, I think we are now. So, uh, all right. Uh, and, and I think I would want to do the the blast game. I don't even remember its name. Blast Chamber. Um, blast Chamber. Yeah, I, I think I would want to do that one since it seems rel relatively short enough. Um, uh, from what so, uh, from what I've seen, half of the uh, blast chamber seems short, but a lot of the layer levels are kind of just that. Oh, you fucked up once. You gotta to just wait to do it again. Yeah, you gotta just. Hop about was the other one, and that one's just like it's only sixty levels, and I was able. To, it's like you can do it in like an hour. You can do it like two hours. The fastest, the, the slowest time is two hours. Mm -hmm. I managed to get like halfway in like like an hour and a half. Ah, I see. So it's possible. It's possible. It's, it is possible. <laughs> because the fastest, the fastest times on Hop About are like 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and Buffy also wants to know if, if we do compete and one of us is faster i guess this is more of a race than a, like a, a a full speed run uh <laughs> whoever has the best time will they be entitled to the other one's hand well i always compete for marriage so uh yeah that, like that's that's, that's my answer yeah. <laughs> I like, yeah i feel like that's a given with you i've seen <laughs> i've seen the things you've done <laughs> I've seen the Nidhogg fight. Yeah, well, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm doing it with Nyx. I'm gonna. I am gonna take Nyx's hand in marriage. Um, over Soul Calibur what Six. Are, what are you? Oh yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be interested to see that. Yeah, I love Soul Calibur. We're probably gonna cry over the net code being the absolute worst. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, uh, if all else fails, the. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you're guys are going to go custom characters or regular characters, but if you're going regular characters, there's always Parsec if you want to just at least lose, lessen that load. That is fair. We, we might we might have to consider that if things start to really break apart and die on us. <laughs> yeah, because Bandai Namco, for, for all their money and value, uh, will refuse by every step of the way to put in good netcode. Yeah, unfortunately. Because they, I think they prioritize their single player a little bit more. Mm. Uh, Buffy also wants to know, final question, no, no, no more. <laughs> what is a goober? What is it? Why, why, why is Buffy asking me that when they made the term? Uh, Wait I a minute. Think, Wait. I think <laughs> that a goober is whoever asks the question. All right, so PK, um, does Hikari have any weapons to use to defend himself in the scrapyard? So I have an intermission screen that lets you see all this stuff on my shelves. Mm -hmm. And on my shelves are a bunch of arguably empty, I have empty guns on the shelf that were just like buried. There's no way, I, have, I don't have bullets. I don't know where you get those, I don't know how you make them. You but can I hammer have, them together. Uh, Hey. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bunch of like metal fragments into this little thing and just have it work. <laughs> and I have baseball bat. It's, it's 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 a little cracked, but you know it works. Okay, the it's got a, it's got at least like three. It's got at least like three hard hits left in it. <laughs> it's got that uh. That Breath of the Wild durability. Oh man! The last hit is going to do hit, double it's damage. It's going to shatter into blue fragments of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> oh man, no! I like this bat. Yeah. <laughs> See, you better not so swing cool. it. Got to figure out how to use those guns. <laughs> man, <laughs> that really sucks. Okay. Uh, I gotta dig up a. I gotta dig up a new one, and then that one's gonna break in like forty hits. <laughs> Uh, PK also wants to know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. My favorite flavor of ice cream? Yes. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it, it's kind of wild when you consider the, the possibility of something. I mean... I mean, I, the, the simplest answer is just I like vanilla and Neapolitan. Okay, yeah, there certain, you go. Certain... Certain like I don't know if I'm gonna get crucified for this, but the whole thing with like mint chocolate chip, I don't get it. That I, would I don't get why people I don't get why people ride or die on that one. We'll we'll have to agree to disagree. It's it's better toothpaste. Come on, have you never eaten your toothpaste before? I can't deny that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what, Barry? I'll, I'll shake on that, Eric. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> I'll, I'll, sh I'll shake on the fact that mint chocolate chip is better toothpaste. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. So, so vanilla and Neapolitan. Mm -hmm. uh, Blaze wants to know what your favorite fighting game is. You can't do this to me. I can. I can. No. Why? You... Oh. Well, Blaze can. Oh. I, I will be the uh, the inquisitor of this question being delivered. Blaze, you bastard! How could you make me take a single game? Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. Oh God! Hold on! Hold on! I I got I I need a second. I need to look at the wall. <laughs> I need to. Look. <laughs> The Grand Wall. I need to look. I, I need to look. <laughs> oh man, that's hard. Skullgirls. <laughs> Probably Skullgirls. There you go. Who's your favorite it's character like, in Skullgirls? Oh, I'm look. I'm looking at the wall. And I'm just like, man. I was just like, there's so many games, and then it's just right there in the middle. Just like, oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, come on, Beowulf is. Oh, he, 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 I thought you were about to say Big Band. <laughs> you act like he's not in the top three. You act like <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, Chance wants to know. This is the most important question of the night. Outside of kissing the rat, what is your favorite thing about VTubing? Mm. Being able to show people stuff that I make, being able to have a more a body that I connect more with, I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah, I I can agree. I I I feel that like I I have many reasons to VTube, but that is probably one of the strongest for me. Mm. Uh, SVN wants to know, do you like a Guilty Gear Strive? And if you do, who do you main? Of course I like Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, love all, I love and I hate all fighting games equally. Equally, yes. Just like and I, uh, And, and uh, uh, as a, a Guilty Gear fan, I am a Viking main, but I actually play the game. I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those <laughs> Viking players. A Viking mains excited to play Guilty Gear for the first time. <laughs> yeah, you have taste and class. You you know what it means to to play a uh, a true counter character, and that's upfront and personal. Yes, <laughs> I, I love I love running up to my opponent and hitting the parry button to scare them, and they hit a button to panic, and I get. <laughs> the most i get the most satisfying dopamine hit yes. ever see 
I, I didn't know it when I when I sent you the video that details all of the supers that uh, or the overdrives that Biken can can counter. I, I didn't realize that you were a Biken main. <laughs> you know, it, it gave me so much happiness to see how how much I could avoid <laughs> because I actually put that to use. Yes, good, good, good. We we have learned. I, I had a friend. I had a friend who I played a bunch with, and he would play Kai, and I myself have a deep hatred for Kai mm -hmm. because he's a fucking blonde twink who needs to <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Kai is a blonde. <laughs> a blonde Take one look twink. at Kai. Take one look at Kai. <laughs> And tell me he isn't a goddamn awful you, character. You, he is a sh you and Pinch have the exact same opinion of Kai Kisk. <laughs> I hate this character. <laughs> it's not even that he's a pain in the it's not even that he's a pain in the ass to fight, right? It's not even that. I hate him as as a character. <laughs> I love tweaks. <laughs> we better move on before the, the rage pours out of Hikari. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't even get me started <laughs> on his fucking son. Oh no, but Sin, uh, Sin, right? Yeah, Sin is really good. I like Sin. You're gonna, you're gonna say this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you, th you think you think I want to be put against the wall against that stupid child that can't even, they can barely do his timetables with a goddamn flag? <laughs> okay, you make a fair point. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that much. Hey, uh, well, I do like playing them. At least I'm not a goddamn mate player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the Totsugeki's are real. <laughs> All right, I have a question for you, Hikari. It's the traditional question. Um, if you could ask the next interviewee, and you don't know who they are, any question you would like, what would you ask them? Hmm. I'd like to ask the next person, what is their guilty pleasure form of media? In, mostly for like a book or a movie. Because there's always that one book or movie that you always can come back to, even if people don't like it. Mm -hmm. And it's always interesting to see people's thoughts on certain things. Because, like, for an example, for me, a movie that I like to come back to, even though people know it for being not great, is uh, early Fast and the Furious movies. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Now... They haven't aged great, and I I will fully acknowledge that early Fast and the Furious is not good. <laughs> However, it's what I grew up on. I I, I I got my love for cars from Fast and the Furious. So when I hear Paul Walker talk a bunch of stupid shit about cars, my brain eats that up. <laughs> you get the dopamine rush. You're like, oh, yes, baby, let's go cars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My man's driving a goddamn Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving backwards on the freeway in his fucking Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6. You know, I, I need to think about this one because I, I want to answer this one, but I will answer it when we do the next interview, uh, which... I uh, I can't wait because you you would be surprised at who it might be. Um, very excited to share this question with them. And uh, one last question, it seems, from Espion. What are your thoughts on Giovanna? Uh, she's a cool lady who's got cool kicks, and the dog is very. I want I want to pat the ghost dog. Also, she's got the she got the boom. You know, like the, you know, the boom. They're, they're, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're hardly contained in there. They're, they're, they've got the boom. 
Anyways, <laughs> to 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 I mean to 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 mention what she literally says in story is how else is she gonna find a man? <laughs> okay, she literally win. says that. Win. <laughs> All right, Hikari. My last question for you: <laughs> Who would you like to raid? Ah oh, man, oh, like, so, there's so many. There's so oh, man. Oh, there's shit. so many good people. Shit, mm. fuck. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, I, I, okay. Fuck. The person I actually was about to rate just ended. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> uh. Okay. Backup plan. Backup plan. Uh. Let's go. I mean. Uh. Okay, fuck, actually. Wait. Okay, why did both of you end stream? Fuck! <laughs> you gotta hurry, they're dropping like flies. Oh, shit. Okay, uh. Uh, uh. Uh. uh, uh let's just go say I the pinch. Okay. <laughs> the, people, the, people, the, the, people, like, the people I was about to raid just ended at the same time. Uh, and I'm I, so I'm defeated. <laughs> uh, Pitch looks like they're in the middle of a, a fight here, so uh, we should be good to, to raid into them safely. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I appreciate your company and letting me interview you. It was a really fun time, and I'm happy I got to be here. Of course. Uh, do you have any big streams coming up? Any, well, any normal streams in that case, if you're not having a big stream? Well, I mean, I, I have my my next stream probably, maybe, if it's not this weekend, then maybe like Monday or Tuesday. It's probably going to be another retro stream, or maybe a fighting game stream. It really depends. Perfect. It depends on how I'm feeling, but it's most likely going to be retro or... Uh, that uh, I am getting fairly close to uh, 200 followers. Yeah, at that point, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna push myself to do a 12 hour stream. I don't I don't have I will never have enough energy in me to do a day. I don't know how this pe how people can do it. It takes a certain like mental fortitude. You you have to go into it ready and willing to do it. Um, yeah, and, and like definitely take a lot of breaks. So, all right, because the twelve-hour stream is gonna be uh, that's gonna be a lot to handle. Mm -hmm. And if y'all have not already followed, uh, make sure that you go follow Hikari. Uh, they they were a wonderful guest this evening. Just so I could get that uh that pop up there. <laughs> guest, there, T take it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> uh, and if you, you know, let, let's help Ikari get to that 200 follower mark. Um, otherwise, uh, I, I will be streaming tomorrow, and we will be going up against Nyx for the, uh, the, the title of being married. I don't know what Nyx is going to be asking for, to be honest, but if I win, Nyx marries me. So, uh... Stay is uh, stay stay in touch. That'll be around oh. eight thirty p.m. PST. So I gotta have. I'm gonna have front row seats to this <laughs> fighting game content. <laughs> yeah, I you hope, already know. I hope y'all love Shang Wa's voice lines because that's who I'm gonna be playing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right. I, I don't. I don't know if you can feel how hard I I sunk into my chair. <laughs> we should play some time, Igari. <laughs> I don't have six on PC. Okay, but that, when it that's goes fair. on sale, when it goes on sale, when it goes on sale, though. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, uh, everyone, go follow Hikari. Here is our raid message. Uh, how big of a wedding cake do you make for a dragon? However, however big they want. Uh, Nyx just has to ask. <laughs> alright everyone I will see you next time and Hikari will be seen soon if they decide to stream retro <laughs> I'm always in the same spot yeah <laughs>
or recently you've been rotating in and out with um with chams and buffy as well yeah gotta hang out with the goobers yeah the goobers <laughs> yeah that's, see that's what they are yeah and not you though you're 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 different you're you're advanced no 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 i no 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 i i am a goober this is like <laughs> I'm not a fair enough <laughs> <laughs> Grr. <laughs> there it is. There's the patented Buffy Grr. What are you? What, what are you gurring about? <laughs> I say we're of equal. Okay, all three of you are are, are goopers. Yeah. You you and Chance are as much as a goober as I am a goober. That's how the, that's how this balances out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Goodbye, everyone. Later's.